everybody, it's your girl Desiree Tarot, and I'm back for another tarot reading. So please hit the like button and please comment on all my videos and subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you can become a part of the notification gang, 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 gang okay? So happy Tuesday morning, everybody. I have my coffee, right? And I'm about to be on my way to work after this reading, but I just wanted to tell y'all what happened last night and i wanted to do a reading on it because it was ridiculous so apparently i mean if you guys know what the, you see the title and you click on it i'm assuming you know who sweet mom for life is um and basically if you was on her live last night it's this guy called real entertainment news right so you know sweet mom talks about narcissism and basically she's been exposing tasha k for a long time she's She's the person who made the whole docuseries um, exposing Tasha K, surviving Tasha K, or whatever the case may be. And basically, you got the other person, Real Entertainment News, that's basically calling Tasha K the queen of YouTube, respect her, going out to Sweet Ma and Nosy Host Live. So he went on her live for like almost five hours, took over the live, basically. Wouldn't let, it was like he was so combative. <laughs> And I just wanted to get the energy surrounding that because after a while, people was telling him to get off, like, at this point. Like, and then you saying that you apologize and you're a journalist, but to be honest with you, if a journalist get a story wrong, then they retract the statement, right? But he refused to retract the video. And it's still up right now. He refuses to do it, which means that he's not a real journalist, Right? But this is him talking all that mess, calling them bitches and everything else. The scene the way you behaved last night, and the scene the way you was dick riding Jaguar, right? See what? It's fraudness. It's fraudness. See what? Get on your game, baby girl. He so called her bitches and everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We all look at things wrong and might not see things from the right lens. He was calling them girls bitches, hoes, and everything else, right? To let you know, look, look, look. Nosy whole lives is nothing but a filthy, nasty bitch. Won't take that she shit doesn't back. doesn't like you. You're light skinned. She doesn't like light skinned people unless they're sucking that nasty trot of hers. Nasty mouth. Okay, so we just trying to see, like, What's the point if you feel so strongly about these people? What's the point of coming on No Z Ho? I mean, not No Z Ho, but um, Sweet Moss for Life Live. And like, is he really sincere? Like, what's his energy giving? Because he was giving a couple of things in that thing, it was draining. But what's the energy surrounding um, real entertainment news? This person. Well. Because it's like he wanted to talk it out, but he didn't want to talk it out. Like, he was, like, so combative. Like, what's the energy? One, two, three. And mind you guys, if you guys go on that video that I said was, like, five hours, it was her live last night, you probably see me on there because I wanted to, you know, talk my shit. But what I really wanted to do is I wanted to invite her on my Friday night live chat at 10 o'clock on Friday. So you guys can tune into that too. But it's like when I was trying to invite her, I wasn't able to really invite her because, you know, it was it was all that going on. So, but Spirit, tell me the energy surrounding real entertainment news and his whole thing with this whole Tosh K mess. It's the devil in the reverse, okay? Okay, so this is saying you want to get out of that. But however, let me tell you something. This is also somebody, um, this devil, I don't even know if he's a Capricorn or not. Hopefully he's not a Capricorn because he's a negative as Capricorn if that's the case. But look, I'm not judging. But what it's saying is that people are, man he's manipulating for a cause, for a reason. He's trying to get things out of a situation. So really he's clout chaser. Um, this page of cups in the reverse, this is a smile in your face, talk about you behind your back type of card. This, not page of cups, this is, um, prince of cups, okay? This prince of cups talk shit about you behind your back, okay? And he's a manipulator, okay? 
he know how to twist the story and smile on your face and say it's this way and say it's that way and it's not that way, okay? He is a manipulator. That's what he is. That's that water energy, that Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So what, he can be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn? But he's doing stuff to gain some type of money, okay? So that's why he's on that live doing all that. He wants the subscribers and stuff like that. That's what he's doing. And he's manipulating the situation. He is actually manipulating it, okay? Lies and manipulation. Smiles in your face, stabs you in the back. That's the type of man you're dealing with. Um, he's worried about money. He wants his channel to grow, okay? There's five of pentacles. He wants his channel to grow. He feels left out in the cold. You know, he wants to be in those spaces. He feels like, well, look, you see this vote, you see this doctor pointing at his neck right here in the x ray. He wants to speak whatever he wants to say and he wants to manifest the coin from it, okay? Okay. The Queen of Swords. Okay. This is the um this is the Aquarius Libra Gemini card. Okay, this is an air sign. But mostly, you know what I'm saying? It could be a female or whatever. So it could be, but it could be him. But in the same token, this talks about the fact that look. The Queen of Swords is someone who's been through some stuff and has, you know, learned from it, seek wisdom, been through it. This is somebody, it's not about relationships right now. It's about standing on your own two feet, okay? So, and it's a transition card, this death card. So, a transformation. So, I feel like the only reason why he was on there is because... He's trying to boost this platform, trying to be monetized. He's manipulating the situation. He is gung-ho about um, taking up for Tasha K, and it really doesn't really matter if it was Tasha K or not. It's just the person he chose to take up for. And really, it's all about that. But really, it's not a real... He chose a side where it's not a real good time to be friends with nobody. This is standing on your own. It's like, first of all, you don't have to... You don't have to side with Tasha K to get a thousand. To get to a thousand views or, or get to a thousand subs. And I find it funny that he did not take that video down. Where everybody was like, well, you know, why don't you just retract your statement? And stuff like that. He act like he didn't want to do it. That's because he wants the views. And he wants the revenue. He wants to be monetized. I think he got like 500 and something subscribers. He wants people to subscribe to him, okay? But really, this is something he should be doing on his own, okay? He doesn't need to cause chaos, okay? He doesn't need to be a chaos demon. So what else you have? Okay, so how is Sweet Ma in all of this? So what's going on with Sweet Ma? Well... Two. What's her energy in all of this? Like, she says she's an empath and she gets drained fast. And, you know, that was a draining situation. So, so let's see. How does she feel about all of this? About this whole debacle? Okay, she got the two of swords. She's on the fence. She doesn't know how to feel about it you know or she refuses to take action against it that's i mean honestly if i was her i would have kicked her kicked him off my live because it's not fair but i was telling her to keep the video up because no you can make an actual like breakdown of how people act like you can just based on what he was saying you can break that stuff down and make small videos analyzing a what he was saying and how he was saying stuff because that is the prime example of somebody who's being a certain way right hmm this feels like she wants something too though sweet mom and she's a mama she wants something too because this is a fertile woman this is like an infertility type of thing so it's like you want to produce content you know and it's like you want to do more but you feel like you're not able to or you or you can do more you're doing more but you want to do more on top of more 
So maybe it's like, okay, this Knight of Disc, okay, King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles shows up here. This is about money, business deals, okay? So I feel like there's a reason why she had him on there because it's entertainment, right? And I feel like she felt like, as in like the whole combativeness he was doing was good business in a sense because she got people on her live and there was a lot of active stuff. Even though she felt drained, to be honest, it was actually entertaining. And clouded judgment though. Now this is somebody that feels like she's been pushed around with this Ace of Swords, okay? Ace of Swords in the reverse. This is clouded judgment and forcing your will. Or feeling like someone's forcing their will on you. So really, she feels like this man came in, this king of disc, this man came in and really like took over her platform and she was on the fence. And But she also feels like this was actually entertainment. This was content. Okay. This force was in the reverse. Okay, it's time to act here. But also, it's also about feeling. She actually felt. It's time to actually act. She needs to cut him off. But she actually felt like she was being emotion, Like, em, what is this? Like mental abuse? Like emotionally blackmailed and stuff like that? She felt like that. Okay? She felt like that. The back of this say the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, right? Um... This was not as lucrative as she wanted it to be. You know, the stuff that she wants to talk about, she feels like would get more numbers. But you have this king of pentacles who thought, well, guess what? I can jump on her live. I can jump on her live and get my exposure and do all this. And I'm not getting old because I'm going to ride Sweet Mom's platform. Because I need to be monetized. I need this money. <laughs> That's what that sounds like. So, let's see. The last thing. <sighs> Some things that's coming up for Sweet Mom because it's almost the end of the year. What's coming up for Sweet Mom for 2021? On her channel. Ooh. Sweet Mom. What's coming up for Sweet Mom? For 2021 on her channel. Sweet mom, I'm sorry, baby, but 2021, there's going to be a lot of shit talking, manipulating, people being cunning. This this princess of swords and reverse talks about that. The shit talking, the, the setting people up, the being cunning, the manipulations of it all. That's what it's talking about, okay? That's exactly what it's talking about, okay? Mind games, shit like that. So that's what's coming up for your channel in 2021. Whew. I didn't mean to do that. I want the best for you. But however, if you do see this video, you know, like I said, I do Friday night lives, live chats at 10 o'clock, and it's about like an hour, hour and a half. You come on, we have fun, we sip. Hey, you, I know you like cookies. You can get some oatmeal raisin cookies, some chocolate cookies, some snickerdoodle cookies, whatever the case may be. And we can be on this drink laughing and having a big old kiki, right? But anyway, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, get your private reading, jello me123 at gmail.com. Peace.